Hello, and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, our lesson is on the conservation of mass in closed systems. The law of conservation of mass states that the mass of a closed system will remain constant over time. As an example, consider an empty bottle. As an experiment, we could place some soil, some water, and a seed into the bottle. We then seal the bottle and record the mass. Now over time, a plant may grow in the bottle, and someone not knowing any better might expect that the mass of the bottle is increasing. But we would actually find that the mass of the bottle stays exactly the same. Because the bottle is sealed, no matter is able to enter or leave the system. So even though many chemical reactions may have taken place in the bottle, the number of atoms inside the bottle remained exactly the same, so the mass did not change. We can test this in the laboratory with a simple reaction between vinegar and baking soda. Here we have a graduated cylinder filled with about 50 milliliters of vinegar. We also have a cap for the bottle and we have a plastic bottle with a bunch of baking soda at the bottom of the bottle. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the vinegar to the baking soda and that's going to produce a violent reaction that produces carbon dioxide. So to prepare for that, we're going to squeeze the bottle and that will make room for the production of gas. So then it's just a matter of adding the vinegar into the bottle and closing the cap very quickly so that no gas can escape during the chemical reaction. So the first thing we need to do to test the conservation of mass is to weigh everything. So we're going to turn on our scale and we're going to put all the components of this chemical reaction onto the scale. And we can see that the starting mass is 179 grams. So that's what our mass is of everything involved in this experiment. So we'll take our scale out of the way and now we'll take our vinegar and pour it into the bottle. And as soon as we have this poured in, we're going to very quickly cap the reaction. Now you can see inside the bottle that the vinegar and baking soda are reacting violently. They're bubbling quite a bit and the bottle is now expanding and uh, pushing outward due to the production of gas. But the cap on the bottle prevents any of the gas escaping. So now that our reaction is complete, what we're going to do next is take all of these components and again put them back on the scale. And we can see that the measurement for mass is exactly the same, 179 grams. So just because a chemical reaction has occurred doesn't mean that there's a change in mass. We can test this even further by allowing the gas that is produced to escape. And in the reaction of vinegar and baking soda, carbon dioxide gas is produced, and that doesn't support combustion. It's also heavier than air, so you can pour it, and it'll actually put a candle flame out. So now we know that carbon dioxide was produced, and we also know that it is now left the bottle. Now if we place the bottle after pouring out the carbon dioxide onto the scale, we see that it's now only 177 grams. When the bottle was opened, two grams of gas escaped. So this experiment very clearly demonstrates that mass is conserved in a closed system.